Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see test suit class in TestNG. So first thing, we will create a Java project by going to File, New Java Project. Now, here I want to have name Demo TestNG. Click on Next and on Libraries tab, add your library TestNG. Click Next, click Finish. Now when you click finish button, your project will have test ng in its path. Now let's create one class by right clicking on your project, then click new class. Let's name it sample, click finish and you will have your sample class. Now here I want to have a bunch of methods like public void test1 then it will be test two, three, four, five. So let's just copy to save our time. I'm just gonna rename them test two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's just arrange that so that it looks good here. Okay, so the first annotation I want to talk about is going to be at the rate before suit so whenever you use before suit it will run at the top of all your tests okay so after that we will have the next after suit okay this will run at the end of your entire execution of all these annotations related to those methods Okay, so before suit will execute at first, then before method, before class, and then test, and then after method, then comes finally to after suit. Okay, now let's have one more here as test. Then we will have our more before method and after method okay if you don't want before method after method you can also have before test after test okay now let's also have some output so that we can recognize which suit or test is currently running so we'll try to identify those methods so let's name it test1 let's have it as test2 then you have test3 and then you have test4 and finally for after test you can have test5 so for your test suit class always remember that before suit runs at the top of your test so let's add a class for it before suit then after suit then we also have test then before test and after test so we have all annotations for our methods and now we are going to execute by right clicking on our .java file then run as test g okay so it will run and show the report of the order in which our tests are running okay so let's check the output and as you can see our before suit is running at the top then comes before test which is test 4 then comes at the test annotation with test 3 and then comes after test test 5 and then you see a bunch of messages regarding our test and finally it shows test 3 however you notice that your after suit is not visible under this that's because it runs at the end and you see message after the completion of your test ng report so it runs that 
slow and at the end okay so all your test will be passed the message will be reported and then at the end your after suit method will execute okay so this is how your test suit class annotations work